this is the Palos Portable Oral Irrigator or as described it's a water jet flosser a very interesting device basically it's used to fire a jet of water through this nozzle in between each tooth to clear any food etc and hence it's called a water jet flosser because it takes the place of manual flossing. In the box there is a nice carrying pouch there is the actual unit itself it has a bottom section which holds the the water and it has a capacity of 300 milliliters it's filled by a hole in the back there in the actual bottom part it's rechargeable and is charged via the supplied cable which is plugged into here this interestingly is a USB cable has a standard USB connection at one end and the proprietary connection for charging at the other end. So all that's required is to plug this cable in uh, the actual device and then a suitable USB connection, mobile phone charger etc. So you get the USB cable you get uh, comprehensive instructions in a number of languages uh, but importantly for us in the UK English as you can see on the manuals on the manual it refers to it as a portable water flosser there are two in a sealed packet there are two jet nozzles uh, with a colour coding one blue and one red so that uh, two different people could actually use the device and you just simply insert the corresponding jet nozzle into the top of the unit there. So this is the base unit uh, being charged. Uh, it's recommended that it's given a full charge before use and can take up to five hours to charge fully. The flashing light indicates charging. To fit the jet nozzle, uh, it's very simple. Take the required nozzle and you press the, the small button at the top there insert the nozzle and let go of the button it's then retained and is has got a particularly good silicon seal around the top to prevent any water uh, coming out of this area obviously we want it to to come out of the nozzle at the end there it's got three modes of operation it's got an on off switch and then the mode button selects either normal soft or pulsed by simply pressing it once and it steps through the different modes of operation. The reservoir at the bottom which has a capacity of 
300 mils, as I said previously, can be removed. There is um, an indication on the back, just under the charging point, uh, and an index on the actual reservoir itself, a little line. So when it's locked, the line is lined up with the locked padlock. If you turn it anti-clockwise, it then lines up with the unlocked padlock. Then this can come off for cleaning, etc. This is the actual pipe with a little filter on the end that draws the water up and in this part this is where the pump uh, is located. So to lock it you just line it up with the unlock, turn it clockwise and then it clicks into the locked position. As I've said uh, in recent, uh, previously, the um, operation is as follows. To turn the water jet on and off, you press this button once to turn it on and once then to turn it off. To select the mode of operation, i.e. normal, soft or pulsed, you don't turn it on, you actually press the mode button once which turns the unit on and then it indicates which mode is currently selected. So as you can see if I switch it on and then step through each mode so we're on normal then soft then pulse. The last setting that you set it on the unit then remembers which of the modes it was last used on. So the next time you actually switch it, it on, it's in the actual mode that was last selected, which in this case was normal. Again, if you wanted to change it to the, the next mode, you just simply press the button select the mode and then let go. When you then switch the unit on it then comes on in the mode that was selected. Preparing it for first use as I said they recommend it is fully charged using the supplied USB cable it has comprehensive English instructions indicating all the buttons etc that I've just described and to start to use it you first need to once it's charged fill the reservoir via the little hole there. It's shown just here and also fitting the nozzle which we, we just looked at. It says basically that the um, modes are stored prior to switching the unit on and it remembers the last mode selected. The way that it's used which I would like to really show from the book I don't particularly think it's a good idea to um, show this in actual use but the actual jet nozzle is first inserted between each tooth and then you turn the unit on. It's not recommended to turn this unit on before it's inserted into the mouth because it fires the water jet out at quite a rate. So just for safety 
it's recommended that the actual nozzle is inserted into the mouth, aligned up with the tooth and then the actual water jet is turned on. This is very effective and on the pulsed setting will remove basically any trapped piece of food etc between the teeth and is has a strange effect initially but once you've used it a couple of times it's quite a pleasant thing to use and obviously you set the power level that suits uh, your own individual requirements. So uh, here I have the the water flosser and I thought it would be interesting just to show how the thing works in actual operation. I've as you can see filled the reservoir with a quantity of water there and now I'll just show what you can expect when you press the actual buttons. For safety reasons you have to hold the on off button for a few seconds. It doesn't turn on immediately you press the button so for instance if I press the button now, as you can hear, it doesn't actually turn on. You have to press and hold it so that you can't accidentally just press and get a jet of water hitting you in the face or going somewhere else it wasn't intended. So if you first select the power level if we select soft to start with then when you press the power button and hold it as you can see you get a fine jet of water which when that's put between the teeth it really effectively removes anything that's stuck in there you press it and hold it and it fires the jet of water. It remains doing this even if you let go. So to turn it off you have to press it once more. But on turning off it immediately turns off when you press the button. Which is obviously a good idea. Uh, so looking at the, the pulse version. Now when it says pulse this means it doesn't mean that it 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 doesn't mean that the actual unit is not pulsing already because as you've seen when it's on normal mode or soft it already pulses so as you can see you get hold it down now it's actually pulsing and if you select pulsed mode what it does is it it pulses the the pulses which is a bit difficult to uh, to say but um, the dem demonstration might be a bit better so with this is in pulse mode can you see what I mean so it's pulsing and then you get a kind of a, a pulsed pulsing and that's obviously used for uh, anything that's stuck in your teeth that's particularly difficult to remove. If you have it on normal mode, then this is the result. It is actually, as opposed to the soft mode, even though it says normal, it is quite um, it is, it's quite a high rate of water ejection from the nozzle. So I would imagine that um, any 
thing that's stuck in your teeth there is going to be very very effectively removed. I've uh, tried it uh, two or three times already and um, it's it, it's very effective uh, even though it's a particular funny sensation when you first start using it. Once you've finished using it it's recommended to uh, empty out the water completely from the, from the unit. And then just to run it for a second to get rid of get rid of any water that's in there and so there won't be any stale water left in the unit.